Hello folks and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to export your widescreen video work without letterboxing. Now just to give you an idea of what letterboxing is, on this clip I've got here I've got a widescreen image but the export, the actual exported video, has got these black bars attached to it. And for many of you this may be the way that you normally export your work with these black attachments. However, it may be the case that there are some situations and scenarios where you'd rather have the same widescreen scope image, like this one here, exported, but without the black bars. So if you look at these two images, have a look at this one here. This one actually has exactly the same screen space, but with the black bars here and here. This one has exactly the same screen space as well, but without the black bars. So let me show you how to export this version minus the black bars. OK, let's get to work. In my timeline here, I've adjusted the aspect ratio of this widescreen footage to 2.40 to 1. Now if you want a more in-depth tutorial and a lot more detail on how to adjust the aspect ratios and mat out your video footage, please look at the aspect ratio video I've got in the YouTube channel. It will give you all the calculations you need to scope your footage out with bars like so. So let's export now without these bars. I'm going to go to File, Export, Media. For my preset, I'm going to go for Vimeo, HD 1080p 25. I'm just going to choose a location to save that into. I'm going to go for this folder here. I'm just going to call this test C. That'll do. But over here is where I'm going to do most of the real work. I'm going to click on source here and it just shows you these little crop facilities. Now you can do them by using the handles here, but it might be a little bit inaccurate. If you want to do it more precisely, you set the top to 140 and the bottom to 140 also. So the export will recognise that as the source material. It's cropped the video and these black areas here have now been taken out. However, that's only part of the job you need to do. The next thing is to go to output here and as you can see, the crop actually doesn't appear to have worked. We've cropped the source, really, to be honest, just as a reference. You don't always necessarily need to do it. But the output is still with the letterboxing, as we can see. If you want to get rid of those on output, click on height here, type in 800, deselect it, and as you can see, the letterbox black bars have gone from here and from here. If you do find when you're trying to adjust the height here that it won't work, it could be that it's been locked here. So if you click on that lock and undo it, you should be able to adjust the height to 800. You might find also that it's already set maybe to matte source. And if you put it on matte source, it locks all these facilities down. So if matte source has been selected and it appears you can't undo it by tapping here or trying to change the height here, Deselect it by clicking on that tick box. Make sure that the lock has been undone. Type in your height to 800. And then, there we go, a nice export 2.40 to 1 aspect ratio without the letterboxing. You can then go down to here, and if you want to adjust your bit rate, I'm usually a fan of about target 3, maximum about 8. That usually seems to work for me. And when you've done that, simply click export down on the bottom here. I'm not going to do that because I think most of you, if you've been through some of these tutorials before, you're more than familiar with how to export. So there you go, folks. Nice 2.40 to 1 export without letterboxing. OK, folks, thanks for listening. See you in the next tutorial.